In terms of the assessments, I don't know how anybody can give you bespoke business advice without knowing what's going on in your business. There's nothing that frustrates us more, and I know that Mike feels the same way, than like, oh, I need to get some clients through the door now, anything we can do? No, there's nothing we can do. It's just people selling people for high cost into a group, giving group calls with no bespoke advice. <laughs> What is our coaching and who is it for? Hey guys, we are Dan and Mike from Bicep and Banter, Business and Banter now. Um, and we're here to help you with your online fitness business in any way that we can. And today we're going to talk about how Mike met Kanye West. Um, oh no, we're not. That's another video. That's a different one. Is it? Um, and Eminem as well. The same, same, same event. So just rubbing shoulders with just, him. Just, just what he does these days, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's one of those things. So maybe we'll get into that in a sec. Maybe we'll get into that later. Who knows? I think Kanye might have spoke about that on his podcast. I think he did, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he probably did, actually. Yeah. yeah. But we better make sure that we release this first so that he doesn't get the exclusive. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's <laughs> it, the exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So today, we thought we would talk about our coaching, what it is, why it's different, because Mike put out a poll on his Instagram and basically said, should we share more of kind of what we do, how we do it? And I, and I guess he was meaning more like the behind the scenes of the daily stuff and all that sort of stuff. But we figured while we were here and while we figured that out on the drive over here, then we should probably talk about our coaching, what it is, why we do what we do um, for you guys that watch YouTube. And we can kind of go into a little bit more detail. Um, not, not necessarily into the, like, the humble beginnings of kind of our uh, passion and where it came from, why I want to do this, but more so literally what it is, how it works, so that you guys can see, I guess, how it's a little bit different to maybe what else is out there that you may have been shafted by before. Um, yes. Because that's bound to have happened for most of you. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems to be a very common thing that, um, that, that we speak to people about anyway. Oh, that, mate. Oh, that, mate. Oh, that, mate. that Manchester accent you got there? Uh, <laughs> No, any accent. <laughs> anyway. Not specific. Oh, so, right, mate. I've oh, seen you at Old Trafford, aren't I, mate? <laughs> oh, getting closer. Uh, you know, but still well, harmless. 70,000 people, so well, harmless, mate. Still harmless. So, yeah, there's loads of people there. Um, <laughs> loads of them. Oh, right, mate. Um, <laughs> did they get beat by Man City as well? Oh, I thought they did. Uh, Shit, football team. Yeah. Um, so, that's a chair. Um, <laughs> if, can, if the mic's picking that up. It's buckling under the sheer mass. Um, so... What is our coaching? Let's not go all the way back, like Dan said, but let's talk about why it's the way that it is first. So when we started coach coaching, we were really surprised to see that nobody does it the way that we do it. Not one person. We realized that out there, it's just mentorships in general. Um, it's just people selling people for high cost into a group, giving group calls with no bespoke advice. And I personally was somewhat excited to some degree, but a little bit in disbelief as well, because if we can all agree that the way to get somebody the best result is to have one-to-one -one coaching with fat loss, for example, mm -hmm. personal advice bespoke to you, your start point, your goal, and everything in between that. And we realize that that's the best gold standard way to coach somebody to success. Surely that has to be the same way for a business then, because it's still the same thing that you're trying to do. It's still a journey from A to B. Somebody's struggling with something, you are ironing out those creases, holding somebody accountable to get them to an end goal. And I would liken every other mentorship out there to the equivalent of back in the day, your favorite bro bodybuilder sending the same 500 people a meal plan. 30, 40 of them get a result. Cool, they will. But 400 odd don't. So we were like, well, we know we definitely don't want to do that. And we've always preached about being bespoke, coaching high level, giving great service. So let's do that for coaches. And because of that, the success rates demonstrate it. Like they really do. They really reflect what we're doing. So that's why we started to do it because it upholds our values, our morals, our ethics, it was, it was to be completely different to what else is out there and to actually give a shit within an industry that seems to be so fixated on dollar signs and extracting cash out of every single coach that comes through, we didn't want to do that. We priced it fairly, we over-deliver, and that's the way we're going to keep doing it. 
And when you do those things, just for you guys um, within your business, when you do those things, don't be scared of underpricing it and over-delivering. Those things are better than overpricing it and under-delivering, which most coaches are doing. They've been told to sell for 250, 300 pounds a month north, sometimes upfront packages, and under-delivering. That is the way to not build a business. Do it the way that we've done it. So that's why we did it the way that we did without going into what we actually do. So what do we actually do? I think just on that as well, before we get into that, I think it's important to note that I understand that from a business point of view, it's definitely not scalable. Like I think that's the key thing is that I, I, I don't, I don't get why other people do it. I can, but I can see why they, they I understand do it. why. Yeah. Because they are just chasing money. They just want to to better themselves and they don't really care about other people uh, to, to get to that point. In my opinion, that, I think that, and I think that shows from the way they set up the business model. I think it, it doesn't, it speaks, to me, it speaks volumes. It's like, you know, people say, oh, I just really want to help people. And I'm like, well, you haven't created a system whereby you to help people then. Like, and, I'm, and you know, obviously there's monetary stuff involved and obviously we know we'll be re, you know rewarded for, for kind of what we do and what we help with. But it's just interesting how like, we are not sitting here going, oh yeah, it's super scalable. Like we know it's not. Like we are literally one in, one out at the moment. Like we are at a point where for us to work with us, it's getting to that point now where you've literally got to register your interest in that. And then we'll let you know when there's a space available because we are full and we will be that way and we will carry on being that way for as long as we do this one-on-one -on -one because we value giving correct advice, the amount of time we need to give and working with people we want to work with over making this more scalable and effectively letting people down along the way by doing things more cookie cutter, by doing things more, here's a group, here's this thing, everyone must do exactly the same thing, otherwise you're shit. It doesn't work that way. If your mentor can take you on at any given time, what do you think about the quality of the information? Would, do you think that that is likely to be bespoke? If they can take you on any time, any time. Because we are one-to-one, -one, like Dan just said, it's not the best business setup. In We could make more money, basically. 100%. Um, but we are choosing not to do that because we know over the long term, it will lead us to a better business, better reputation, and we make enough money. Like, we, we make enough money. So I understand why they do it because us trading our time to do check-ins is now, for some reason, beneath mentors. They won't do that. Instead, they'll employ other people. So we could quite easily employ 10 other coaches if we wanted to. It's, that's, that's not a difficult thing. People rave on about, oh, I've got, a, I've got a team of 20. We could employ 10 coaches like that because employing a coach doesn't cost you anything. You bring on a coach to fulfill clients that are already paying you. So you then do a percentage split per person. So it doesn't actually cost you to bring, we, we could bring on 20 coaches tomorrow and go, okay, well, you have 20 clients, you have 20 clients, you have 20 clients, you have 20 clients, you have 20 clients. And we could, we could do that. We could pass all of our current clients to those if we wanted to and take a full step away from the business. We could, we could do it like that. But because we don't believe that that's the best way to coach, we don't do it that way. So I would question other people's not, not morals, really. I don't think that's right. But when they say that they care, they so care about the results you get. They don't care enough to do the work themselves. Or even that, that you know, you're going to get one-on-one -on -one time and that it's bespoke. It's like, yeah. well, you, you can't demonstrate that. They don't care enough. They'll tell you when they do care, when you cancel. That's when they care. That's when you get the message. That's when you get the quick response time. That's why, oh, I can book a call with you now. Now I'm cancelling. That's funny, that. Um. So the claims that they care and the claims that they want the best and that they're an environment for, for success, is it? Or are you just one number and they're demonstrating the 30 or 40 that did do well on the meal plan? That would do well, by the way, anywhere they went because they probably looked the part, they probably have a lot of followers, they're probably good coaches and they're probably consistent as hell. They would, they would probably be successful wherever they went. Um, so our business is not scalable to a degree. We obviously have the members group, which is great, which is our scalable element, but it's not one-to-one. -one. And we reflect that in the price. It's 99 pounds. You don't have to sign up to a contract. Pick it up, put it down whenever you like. Other people are charging north of 500 pounds a month for the same thing. So we are 20% of the price, in my mind, giving more value. So that's a scalable element, but our main bulk will always be, it's one-to-one, -one, it's a high-level stuff, and as our numbers continuously come down, we are just taking on um, 
the amount of people that we want to work with, not overfacing ourselves, not watering down the service, not taking anybody on, unfortunately. Um, and that's why we're doing it. So what do we specifically do? So in, in terms of what we actually do is, the, well, first off, you have a call with us, sales call, like you might call it a sales call, us. consultation, and it's actually with us. So there you go. That's not a, with the sales that's team. Fun yeah, yeah, not with our sales team. No. Not with a closer. No, we, you don't get set and you don't get closed. Yeah. Um, you speak to us as a human being. Um, funny that. So you yeah, have a call and then literally after that call, you go, that all sounds amazing. I can't wait to sign up. And you sign up and then we go for an assessment. So much in the same way we've, we describe to all the coaches we work with that, we've always felt the gold standard of nutrition coaching is that you go through an assessment week with people whereby you look at their current habits, their current things that they're doing, whether they're doing something's good, something's bad, whatever it is, you ask them to stay as they are, just do what you're doing. We do something very similar with the business. We kind of go, right, we need a full assessment of kind of where you're at, what your Instagram handle is. We can look at your content, look over all these sorts of things. Once we've got that full assessment, we then also ask you to do like what we call a niche exercise. So we get them to run through like, okay, who do you work with? All this sort of stuff. What areas of business do you think you need to work on? From there, we then send you a Loom video straight off the back of that, where it's like, cool, well, these are the things I've identified that I think we need to work on. This is where I'm going to start with you. This is what I think we need to focus on first. Later on down the line, these are the things we're going to look at. And in six months time, this is where we're aiming to be roughly, uh, providing we get everything done at the right time frame. I don't know exactly how you do it, but I always talk her through things and I say, look, the check-ins are going to be every two weeks. This is your check-in day. We can change it if you want to either of these, but here's your check-in day. And I say the first month is just definitely first off about finding our cadence with check-ins, figuring out how much work you can do within a two-week period so that we can make sure that you're progressing at a rate that you're comfortable with, I'm comfortable with, and I set you the targets along the way. For any point you feel like it's too much or not enough, in that first month, we're just gauging kind of how, how much you can do in that time period. I'll set you those tasks to do. Here's the first task you need to do within the next two weeks. Make sure this is done by check-in day. Here's my WhatsApp number. Text me if you've got any problems and away you go. And that's your first touch point with us. So in terms of the assessments, I don't know how anybody can give you bespoke business advice without knowing what's going on in your business. I don't know how. So they can't, well, they can't, mate. You are? They can't, mate. Yeah. They can't. So if you've ever joined a, a mentorship and not been given an assessment and being given bespoke advice to where you're at. So in the assessment, we look at where you're currently at, what, what your goals are, your strengths, your weaknesses, the things that have worked for you, the things that haven't worked for you, the things you like doing, the things you don't like doing, all sorts of things to build up a clear picture. Based off that information, your Instagram and the consultation call, we then make an assessment of what's the best thing to move you forward. For some people, they might come in um, at 50 clients where they're getting eight, eight, nine, 10 calls booked in a week. I'm going to coach that person and start off with that person differently to the, the coach who's got 10 clients and is getting one call booked in a month because two very different things are happening within that person's business. One person needs to work on lead gen. The other person, it, it could be their, their, reten uh, their retention is not good enough. So they're getting nine, 10 calls booked in, but they're dropping as, qu as quickly as they're, as they're coming in. So for that person, I would go down the avenue of, right, I want to see your onboarding. I want to see what you do for check-ins. I want to see how you're servicing your clients. I want you to watch this video. I want you to do that exercise. And we're going to work on stopping the flow of, of, of levers. That person who's getting nobody through the door, we're going to work on some other things. It's bespoke advice to where you're currently at now and where you're hoping to get to. It has to be. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how somebody can give you blanket advice when this coach is marketing to Slimming Worlders, that coach is marketing to, marketing to IFBB pros. How? Well, that, that's, that's the other thing, like you said there, that, that even knowing that is, is important for the assessment because that will dictate, even down to things like you said about churn and stuff, you'll go, well, you're going to see more churn with these people than those people. So the, even the numbers that you would go, what's acceptable for churn, you go, well, it's different between different niches and how many calls you're going to get booked in, how many people you need to work with, how long they stay for. There's so many factors just involved in knowing your niche it, before it, you even know anything else. It, it dictates price. It dictates yep. product. You can't charge... Um, respectfully, somebody who was doing Slimming World, 300 pounds a month. You, you can't do it. You can charge somebody who's wanting to place first and go for a pro card, 300 pounds a month. So the price is going to be dependent. So how can you give a blanket you need to charge 997 for three months for, for everybody? Good luck selling that to somebody who's used to paying 10 pounds a week at Slimming World. You'll book calls, you'll not close any, even dependent on the product. A low cost group coaching product is g great for the demographic of female ex swimming worlders, community element, low cost, low risk, upsell them into one to one. Could a group coaching work for an IFBB pro bodybuilder? No. 
It's knowing what each person needs. And obviously I'm using two extreme ends of Slimming World as to IFBB pros and anything in between in the spectrum. It's bespoke, tailored advice because it has to be. It, it has to be. Yeah. And, and also within that, the other thing is that I, I do regularly is I kind of ask people what they want their life to look like and what they want out of this process. So for example, you might get two people come into you with 10 clients each, right? They might they may come in, both got 10 clients, right? Both, both have a similar niche. I get one guy coming in and go, yeah, but I want to get 120 clients. I want to grow a team of four people and I want to be there by the next two years. I'm like, we got to fucking put some work in. If I have someone comes in and they go, oh, I just want 30 clients, I'd like to live abroad and I want to stay at 30 clients for two, three years and be comfortable. I'm like, cool, slightly different starting point. Again, slightly, slightly different way of approaching that from a coaching point of view. If you've got big ambitions, I'm going to be harder on you. And I'm going to tell you, this is realistically what you need to be doing. This is how hard you need to be working. If you don't have those huge ambitions, and you want to get to 30 clients, which is still fantastic, by the way. But compared to that, and you want to get there within the next year, I'm like, cool, we don't need to rush the process. We don't need to be pushing the first month every week on your case, doing more, more, more. It even comes down to that when it's like knowing how you're going to coach this person. Because the way we do it is, again, you're coached. It's some people, a bit more of a softer, softly approach. Okay, cool. Don't have as much time. Some people, like I say, got big ambitions. Well, fuck, okay, I'll fucking push you. I'll show you how, how hard you need to work and where you need to get to for those lofty ambitions that you've got. I think it's even down to that. It's it, There's so many factors involved within coaching. Like we just said, if you to to flip that into physique or fat loss coaching, you, everyone sitting and watching this will go, well, yeah, obviously. You're like, well, yeah, exactly, yeah, obviously. That's exactly why we go through that process and why everything that we do from that point with one-to-one -one coaching is individual from the start, from li the literal start point. We... We literally mirror the nutrition and training coaching that we did. We, we literally do it. Just as we, as we would track protein, carbs, fats, cardio steps with, with nutrition training clients. We track business-related data. We spot trends. We set targets. We, to some degree, periodize it. You can't do an open spaces every month, unlike some people. You can't expect the most amount of clients to be signed up mid-month, mid-August. You can't. So you would periodize it. That time, connection to audience. Give away something for free. That makes sense. So we will track and, 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 and look at the trends and set targets. We'll then set homework. And we will agree that this is a thing that, needs, that will move the needle forwards for you in your business. We'll then hold you accountable to doing it because you've got a check-in coming up. You can then text us in between that. Mike, have you got any um, um, advice on this? Mike, what do you think about that? We'll, shock horror will be available to message because we're coaching you. What you're currently given is a group full of videos with some half-assed advice thrown in, if you're lucky, by some coach who you never heard of, who's just telling you the same thing as every other person that they've worked with that day. It's not bespoke to you. It, it'd be the same thing over and over again. Whereas we actually coach you this is not mentoring this is coaching in order to 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 better you as a coach to improve the, your onboarding to improve Im, improve your service to get better client retention to get better client results to have a, a social media strategy to know what you're doing with your social media to be consistent with that and to look at the longer term program i, I just had a, a call with one of my clients today and we spoke about everything that he was ever taught previously was short-term wins because that's all that mentors will give you in these mentorships because they can't talk about your long-term um, goals as a business because they don't know it. They can go, well, have you um, opened up spaces or have you asked for referrals? Beyond that, that's the limitations. Instead, what I explained to him is, you can see what we're building now. You can see that in 2024, in January, you have this launching. In February, we open that. In March, we have the upsells from there. In April, we launch that again. In May, we then open those spaces. In June, we get the upsells from that. I was mapping it out. He could see it. Up until that point, we want to have three, four, five lead magnets. We want to be funneling people into this for this reason, for this sole purpose, so that we can then look at numbers and go, look at amounts of people there that are coming into this list, that are then upselling into this, that are buying that. So we can map out what we're doing because we're hands-on with the business. Everybody else doesn't know anything about your business. They're giving you cookie cutter advice that is business advice. There is no such thing as business advice. There's no blanket one size fits all. We do things differently to the next person, to the next person, to the next person, as do you. 
you do things differently to the next coach, the next coach, the next coach. So you should have personal advice, but you're paying through the nose for blanket advice that is going to be hit and miss as to whether it's going to work. If you're going to invest in something, invest in the right information. Yeah, and and like you just said, I think that's a great point is that all the time it we're looking, yeah, all the time we're looking to the future and we're looking to where you can be. So there's nothing that frustrates us more. And I know that uh, Mike feels the same way than like, oh, the message we might get from someone, oh, I need to get some clients for the door now. Anything we can do? No, there's nothing we can do. Like there's, there's nothing you can do because that's the mindset that got you to this point where you've asked for my help. We've never had to worry about that. Right. And we're building a business for you where you don't need to worry about that. So we're thinking longer term. I'm thinking every time I work with a client, every time I check in with them, the advice I'm giving them is for their future self in three months time. It's okay. We're launching a group coaching in January. Cool. Well, we need to build up lead magnets from August through to January. Then we need to build that email list up over a three to four month period. So that when we launch something, we're not relying on social media algorithms. The amount of people that I get come to me from other mentors that all they have is an Instagram page and it is absolutely fucking dead because all they do is DM every single fucker that follows them constantly or their VA does, sorry. It's dead. And, and the reason people aren't then engaging with them or bothered about what they have to offer is because they've just been sold to this program for the whole time they followed you. And everything that we do is about building up those relationships in the long term so that over time you can move people away from Instagram. They can see you on other platforms. They see your emails. They see you on YouTube. They might listen to a podcast if that's relevant for you, but they see other things that you're doing and they feel a part of your life throughout that. So everything that we do on those check-ins is around how are you engaging with people this, this week? How are you speaking to people? Oh, I'll keep speaking to the same people. Everywhere. Good. It's not a bad thing. Just because you were taught to message a hundred new people a day doesn't mean that was the right thing to do. It's building things up for the long term. We're always thinking three, six, 12 months ahead. Where's this business going to be in 12 months? Where are we going to be? I love it when I get a client go from 10 clients to 30 clients, um, but over the space of say 10 months, because do you know what happens? They don't lose those clients quickly. The coaches that I see come from the mentors. They go, oh, I went from 10 to 30 in a space of two months. I'm like, okay, cool. Where are you at now? 15. Well, so you're actually from 10 to 15 then really, aren't you? I want you to build a system whereby those numbers are, you, you're used to those numbers and you're there and you're settled. And the moving average is always generally in a trending up. You're gonna have some ones that come down slightly, but if we did a 12 month rolling average, it would be going up at a steady rate of two clients a month. That is, believe it or not, fantastic growth. And, and coaches aren't always wowed by that when we speak to them. But the reason I believe we work really well with coaches that come from other mentorships and other mentors or whatever you want to call it is because A, they understand that we actually are doing coaching. B, they realize that it's ridiculous value for what they get because they've been ripped off with all the other shit before. And the C is because they understand now that the thing that they did wrong was the short term must get someone in tomorrow, next week. I need to get my numbers up this week. And I still get it now from people who've got good, like good numbers, 50 clients, 60 clients. And they're like, I've got 11 dropping off next month. I need to replace them. I'm like, what? 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 Okay, have you, well, have you been emailing me list records? Do I have an email list? Sorry, what? Yeah, I'm just going to have to send out loads of DMs on Instagram. I'm going to have to put up, a, put up a transformation and just message every single person that likes it. I'm like, right, that's not a business you've got. That's just you with an Instagram page hoping for the fucking best. Yeah. And that's what we're getting away from. So yeah, you could do that to try and replace those 11 people, but you cannot do that going forward every single month. So at some point you're gonna have 11 drop off and you're gonna have to deal with it. Because to get to the point you wanna get to, well, you're not doing that, you gotta take a hit because you're artificially high on your client numbers because at any point 11 can drop off. Like that's, that's a problem. That's what we coach. We have to constantly go through this because client coaches get ups and downs with this so much. And yeah. I find my job is as a coach, as much of, instructing, okay, these are the things we need to do this week. But then the other half of it is, I need you to kind of calm down, look at the bigger picture. And, and it's like, just like you do with your clients with fat loss. It's like, oh, weight didn't go down this week. Okay, calm down. Like, doesn't mean you haven't been doing things wrong. Just that that's not the only thing we're tracking. And with coaches, we just get that. Client numbers is the only thing they care about. And that's all the other mentorships care about. And we're like, can all the other numbers? And I'm like, if all the other numbers are okay, where they should be, and you're doing all the other things, the client numbers will go up eventually. Yeah. So calm down. It's the peaks will get higher. And the troughs will get higher, but they'll still be troughs. 100%. The troughs will always feel shit because it's a trough because you've been higher. But look at it over the long period of time. Look at it like Dan says. And also the peaks and troughs, the, the, the standard deviation should hopefully become smaller. Yes. So between the peak and trough is a, is a, is a smaller number rather so than some people are I suppose huge. one of my clients today, Sam, he was a mental health nurse last, last year. He's now a full-time online coach. The call that we had last month, he was panicking. He'd not had anybody sign up for a month. He, and I'm talking, he won't mind me saying this, but he was 
Yeah, he was, he was flapping a little bit. We spoke today. He's had 17 calls booked in this week. 17. So I was like, what, what does that mean then? Panic over, is it? What did you do differently? Nothing. Okay. So it's not then predicated on what you're doing, is it? Because it's predicated on the last six months. You, you've, you've got 17 calls booked in by coincidence because of the last six months. It's not because of what you did last week. Yeah, don't repeat this week because you can't, there's nothing you've done that week that's got those 17 on. It's well, everything you've well, done. Well, Will was on the same call and he had not got a call booked in. He went away on holiday and took a week off social media and came back to 10 calls booked in. I was like, that doesn't mean you go on holiday every week. It's because you, we've done the last four, five, six months. That's why. So when you are having a trough, a downtime, you cannot look at what you're doing this week and go, well, this isn't working because you're looking at the wrong metric. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, it, it's not clear evidence. Instead, you need to be rest assured that you're doing the right things over a period of time, three, four, five, six months, and have faith that at some point that people will come through the door because you are only one week away from a good week. Trust me, you will always have troughs. You will always then go to a higher peak after that. So with us, we have ups and downs. Of course we do. You as coaches need to accept that next July, August, you will have a trough. Eight out of 10 of you. Some people will get lucky. Eight out of 10 of you will dip in July and August. Accept it. That's going to happen. July and August, you make sure you push some free stuff, some free content, some lead magnets, you build your list. When people aren't ready to pay for something, you build a list. Outside of that, crack on. You need to accept these things. So no business out there on the planet, no good business, goes, oh, we had a really shit week this week. Should we change it up? No. They look at years and at most quarters. And that's where they make the decisions from. They do not look at weeks and go, should we change our marketing plan after one week? If Coca-Cola don't sell as many Cokes this week as it did last, they do not change their marketing strategy. It sounds stupid saying it out loud because, duh, obvious. So why are you doing that? <laughs> you need to look at quarters, years. That's what we do. We know our role in year 12 months. And I know that if we beat what we did this last 12 months, in the next 12 months, I'm happy. Each month might be up and down, but across the year, it should be, it should have increased. That's the way that you grow a business. Yeah, hundred percent. And, and that's like I said, with our coaching is that, you know, th there's not much more to say than that because then from that point, we have those check-ins every two weeks where they roll every two weeks, every two weeks, we're reassessing this stuff, looking at the numbers, looking at the data, making the right decisions, going, right, this is what I recommend. This is where I think things need to go. This is what I would be focusing on. And it's all looking forward to the next, like you said, three months. It's not, nothing we do is like, right, this week, this is happening. And when we do say, right, this week, this is what you focus on. It's because it, three months ago, that was the plan. It's because, right, well, three months ago, we planned for this week. So that's what we're going to do. Like, for example, Black Friday, for example, January, for example, April, Easter, whatever it might be. Certain time points in the year that are important for people. So that's when we focus and go, right, this week, this is the important thing to do. No one out there is doing this. And, and until they watch this video and they copy us and then they'll try and copy us, but they, they won't, won't be able to. Because it's not scalable. Yeah, they won't because it's not scalable. Um, but because of that, you can see that why we then have the one in, one out nature. And you can see why, yeah, it's an investment. You can see why you, you've got to pay for that, right? And you can see that. And... I don't think that people will be surprised to hear that some of the stuff we talk about is stuff we talk about on YouTube, in our members group, all that sort of stuff. The, the thing that you're paying for is that one-to-one -one guidance and support through it because it's hard. This is a hard thing to do on your own. As you know, when it comes to fat loss, as coaches know with fat loss, coaches aren't always ripped, they're not always shredded, they're not always motivated to train because they don't have the accountability or they don't have something to work towards. Exactly the same thing. You can know all the stuff, but actually applying it and doing it are two very, very different things. So... That's why we do it the way we do it. And, and why, look, at, and we're also going with the members group. There's going to be an, an additional thing that we're looking to, to add on there where there's going to be extra one-to-one -one accountability some point soon. Could be when this video is out. I don't know. In fact, it probably will be out already where we're doing our best now to make that, I suppose, accessible to people. It won't be me and Mike. It will be other coaches that we trust and we work with. But there is that element of one-to-one -one accountability because we believe in coaching. We believe in that one-to-one -one element of that. We don't just believe in just going, right, here's a group mentorship. It's going to cost you five grand. Go for it all. Everyone go through the same thing. Same with the members group. We've got all the stuff there, but some bits you won't need right now. Other bits you will. Now for the price point, we can't guide you through that. It's up to you to kind of figure that out. But there is no set structure that every single person must go through and every single person must charge the same. If you watch those videos, you'll see that we go, for some people, this will work. For some people, that'll work. Try it. Figure out what works best for you and your values and your ethics and your niche. It's always about that. There's, there's very, very little black and white, like you must do this like that. Um, for that very reason, that doesn't work like that. It's not how life works.
and because of those things, I, I, I'm pretty confident in saying that we have the best percentage success rate. I'm pretty confident in that. I'll hang out on that. Yeah. I'll hang out on that, I would say. Literally. Yeah. Like, per, I, I, as well, if, if you're looking at per person as well, per like 10 per 100 people, people or whatever you or say. Per 100 yeah. people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We will get the best percentage success rate. And we should do, because we're coaching one-to-one. -one. We, sh we should. That's the way it's set up. Um, and I know people would agree with that as well. I can't remember what I said now. Where was I? I uh, don't know. Just style it out. Um, yeah, roll with it. The, the video just cut off, just for reference. The video cut off, yeah. Um, you, you were saying about, we believe in coaching. Um we probably will have something right about now whilst the video is out as additional support within the members group because we're we are um keen on improving the support in the members group obviously the price of the members group is 99 pounds which is less than one of your clients costs you so if it gets you one client you're up it will get you one client mm -hmm. we recognize that within that members group there's not as much accountability so we're going to implement something obviously it won't be me and dan but in the members group because we're as we've said, we're one in, one out with our own coaching. But we recognize that coaching gets the most success. And what I went on to say before the camera went out was, um, I, would, I would guarantee that we get the, the highest percentage success rate. Per 100 people that come through, we will get the highest percentage success. Because it's one-to-one. -one. It has to be. Of course we do. Because we're doing everything personal. If we were to remove that personal um, touch, the, our success rate would go down. Of course it would. It makes common sense. We're the safe bet. It might not feel like it because we dick around and we don't toot our own horn. You, you come in with us, you get a result. It's that simple. I'm hard pushed to, fa to think of somebody that hasn't seen a return back. I'm, I, I am genuinely hard pushed. I don't think anybody else in this industry can say that. I think you are in the minority if you get a result everywhere else. You are in the minority with us if you don't get the result. The majority get the result because of how we do the coaching. And we'll continue to do the coaching that way. So there you go. That's that. Done. Anything else you want to cover? You've seen us men mention the members group. No, that's a bad CTA. For more information like this, better than this, longer stuff, webinars, expert guests, slides quizzes members group it's low cost it's 99 pound it's no contract message me or him dan message or mike me. definitely me either of us yeah doesn't matter the word bb members or one word no space bb members message us that we'll send you all the info you can decide whether you want it dip in dip out low cost best value thing out there you'd be mad to miss it see you later